The Golden State Warriors are back in the NBA Finals, and even if their opponents won't give up easily, they should still be favored to win the championship. They were counted out. They said that without Kevin Durant, they couldn't prosper. They claimed Steve Kerr was an overrated coach and that Clay Thompson was finished. They said that Stephen Curry wasn't a genuine leader. But the Golden State Warriors have returned to their rightful place. The Warriors are in their sixth NBA Finals in eight years, and they'll fight tooth and nail to win their fourth championship and seventh overall. Hello, everyone and welcome back to NBA Reloaded. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates about NBA's news, players, and their lifestyle. With that being said, let's get started. No one can dispute that they face a challenging opponent. No matter how excellent they are, getting those four victories will be challenging. Nevertheless, the Warriors will take home the NBA championship in 2022. What are the key factors which announced that Warriors will win this NBA? And do they have the skillful sportspersons? and how they can make the beat out of it. Although Steve Kerr didn't start the dynasty, he certainly elevated it. Given that his team's core is getting older and they no longer run that fast-paced offense, he has figured out how to alter his players over time. Even so, Kerr always manages to select the ideal lineup and alter as necessary. Kerr has now visited this location much too frequently, and he is not scared to think creatively. He will do whatever it takes to win, even if it includes playing a rookie just because the matchup is good. He will have the home court edge and his death lineups are virtually unbeatable. The Warriors are a championship-ready squad. At this point in their careers, Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Kevon Looney and Andre Iguodala have all participated. They are familiar with one another, have each other's trust, and won't be intimidated by the pressure of competing in the NBA Finals. The Dubs are also focused on winning a championship. They have experience on both sides of the equation and are aware of what it takes to succeed. Additionally, they won't take any chances because this could be their final opportunity to win another championship. Stephen Curry is a three-time NBA champion, a two-time MVP, an eight-time All-Star, the MVP of the All-Star Game, a leader in steals, a member of eight All-NBA teams, a two-time winner of the three-point contest, the MVP of the Western Conference Finals, a member of the 50-40-90 club, a player ranked in the top 75, the leading scorer in the NCBO during the regular season, a two-time so. The Finals MVP trophy is the only thing that is lacking from that resume. At this point in his career, he has nothing left to prove, but some people still criticize him for it. Therefore, anticipate Curry to go into human torch mode right away and dissuade the few remaining doubters. With a victory over the Dallas Mavericks on Thursday night at Chase Center in San Francisco, the Golden State Warriors might guarantee their spot in the NBA Finals. They attempted to finish the sweep on Tuesday but were unable to do so, so they will now try to do so. The Warriors are in good shape going into tonight's game since they haven't dropped a postseason home game. They will go to the NBA Finals for the sixth time in the past eight seasons with one more victory. The Warriors have proven they are capable of winning the championship by making it this far. They are in a position where they are often regarded as favorites because of the makeup of their team. They won 11 of their games, easily advancing through the playoffs. If they make it to the championship game, they will play either the Boston Celtics or Miami Heat from the Eastern Conference. Even though they are both strong foes, many favor the Warriors' odds of triumphing. The Warriors, who've had a 53-29 record and finished third in the Western Conference, had the league's best defense at the end of the regular season. It goes without saying that the most crucial component in winning a championship is defense. They still play a kind of defense that may be troublesome for the opposition. Despite the fact that they have been devastated a few times this playoffs, they have a solid chance of stopping them with Green serving as the anchor and players like Andrew Wiggins watching the perimeter. There is also a chance that Gary Payton Uthu will play in the championships. The defensive mastermind has been out since injuring his elbow in the conference semifinal matchup against the Memphis Grizzlies. The Warriors were eliminated from the real postseason after losing back-to-back -back games in the play-in round last year to the Lakers and Grizzlies. Golden State's management made just minor adjustments to their roster in the offseason of 2021 as a result of their early exit. For Stephen Curry and company, 
there weren't exactly great hopes at the start of the season. Las Vegas projected that they wouldn't win more than 48.5 games in 2021-2022 and gave them plus 1,100 odds to win the championship. It's safe to say that through the first half of the season, the 35-13 Warriors have performed better than expected. Indulging in his old habits, Stephen Curry is scoring 25.8 points per game and entering the MVP race. Draymond Green has also experienced a minor comeback. He is the Warriors' top-rated defenses driving force and the early favorite for Defensive Player of the Year. A true two-way powerhouse who has a remote possibility of being selected for the All-Star team, Andrew Wiggins is having the best season of his career. Jordan Poole improved his performance this year and his $2.2 million contract is among the finest in the NBA. The Memphis center in his second season, James Weissman, is yet to take the court in 2021-22 while he recovers from a knee injury. He demonstrated that he is already a capable rim protector and role man for the Warriors during his rookie campaign last year. In addition to defending 11.9 field goal attempts per game and holding his man to 2.8% below average last season, he also averaged 11.5 PPG, 5.8 RPG, and 0.9 BPG. When facing teams with strong offensive fives, James Weissman will be a huge asset for the Warriors. He will relieve some of the load on Draymond Green at the basket because he is one of the few players on the planet who can bother physical players like Nikola Jokic or Joel Embiid. Weissman's recovery was updated earlier in January by head coach Stephen Kerr, who stated, his knee is feeling excellent. His mood has improved. He is great energy and hopping around during practice. He's getting ready for some physical play. Even simply seeing a smile on his face and his return after all this time is exciting. James Weissman's return appears to be approaching quickly, which is good news for the Warriors team, which might utilize his size in the middle as they advance to the championship game. Although Jordan Poole's aggregate statistics outperform those of Albert J.R., Clarkson, and Heald, Tyler Harrow is unquestionably the sixth man of the year front runner. With Clay Thompson joining the team, Poole won't be playing as much going ahead, thus we can't count on his point average to remain above 16 per game. He has nevertheless demonstrated this season that he is a competent starting shooting guard on a championship-caliber squad who can get buckets in bunches and hold his own on the less entertaining end. 43.3 DFG percent. Poole is undoubtedly one of the league's top bench players. Any team would be thrilled to have a player like Jordan Poole, who can log significant minutes while Clay Thompson and Stephen Curry rest on the bench. He is simply one more factor in the Warriors' roster strength this year and readiness to win another championship. He has altered the story in San Francisco this year. With only 14.1 field goal attempts per game, Wiggins is scoring 18.1 points per game while making 40.4% of his three-point attempts and providing some of the league's finest wing defense. Andrew Wiggins almost probably won't make the all-star squad in the Western Conference, which is loaded with talent. Even so, he's still a contender, and it's impressive that he's even being considered given the reputation he established in his early career. Compared to the person he replaced on Golden State, D'Angelo Russell, Maple Jordan has been a far superior two-way player this season, contributing significantly to the Warriors' success. Wiggins is engaging in a smart and effective attacking game. In order to avoid the infamous dead zone between 10 feet and the three-point line, which he relied on so heavily in Minnesota and which destroyed his worth, he shoots roughly 80% of his shots at the basket or beyond the arc. So what do you think about this? Are there any changes which Warrior will do? And will they remain unbeatable next season too? Well, this brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, do like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content from us. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.